Brendan Shepard is out to the edge of his penalty area and releases Davies here. Davies looking for Hogan. Hogan steps over it. Durant can make a name for himself. Sam Durant on his first start for Dundalk, but Brian Maher is equal to his effort. Running McJanet. Davies, chance for the first time cross. It's a lofted one towards the back post. Durant is there in a white shirt. It'll break for Hogan here. Hogan with the touch and the shot. It's saved by Maher. Now Durant. Hogan still in support. Durant looking for room. Connor Malley. Here's Durant again. Another chance for Dundalk there. Half chance really for Daryl Hogan making the opportunity for himself. Yeah, it was a poor ball in by Archie Davis, too far too much height on it, and once it was headed out, it was, was clear on Cole. Decent touch by Horgan, and great technique, getting his knee up and over, and he struck it full in the meat, great strike. Hubert, cut out by McElhenney, Shane McElhenney, now Patching, that's a good ball by Patching. And it's Mullen after it, Danny Mullen, in support is Paul McMullen. Paul McMullen going on the outside, back in towards Mullen again on the turn, and Mullen just can't keep it down, falling back as he struck it. But Mullen and McMullen showing what they're capable of in tandem then. Great play by, by the two Mullins down the side. Mick Mullen again, he got down the line and he put a little, lovely little ball in. Mullen swiveling, just got away from a small because just couldn't steer it on target. Waiting the trigger to chase in on this one for Dundalk. Here it comes from Hogan towards Muller at the back post and Muller's won the header. And that's pushed behind by Brian Maher. Not for the first time in this first half. The Derry City goalkeeper called into action and equal to it. Really good header by, by Muller. He, he just got, got over Sam Todd at the back post. Very difficult to generate a lot of power because the ball is very loopy, but he's done well and Brian Maher reacted very well, pushed it around the post. Patrick McElhenney to McJanet. He's found patching here. Mullen and McMullen ahead of him. Patching surges forward himself. Now it's McMullen up against Muller. McMullen. Brings it inside and he's found Patching. Can he bring it with him? Appeals for handball and he's put it in. Will Patching. Derry City opened the scoring at 42 minutes. And Duntalk opened all too easily by Derry City, but they won't care about that. It's Will Patching against his old club. And Derry City lead by one goal to nil. He's done really well, Patching there. He, he picked it up in acres of space in, in the midfield, drove forward. Slipped McMullen in, and then McMullen can go inside, go outside. He just dropped the shoulder, went inside Muller. Played a lovely little ball back into to Patching. I think he, as it's played in, it's, it's bounced up. But it's terrible defending from the Dundalk perspective. And th there's questions about the handball. It's bounced up. I don't know if it's come off his body or his arm, but the Dundalk defending is terrible. Brownlee's come charging across and ran straight by the ball. Don't talk with so many players back, yeah. John. Move it. Dispossessed by O'Reilly. Here's O'Reilly again, skips past the challenge of Mali. Cross in for McMullen. Here's two. Patching again. Good save by Shepard, and it's put away. It's in by Ben Doherty. Well, he scored here in April. Well, he's got another one now, Ben Doherty. And it's Dundalk now. Derry City 2. A blow at the end of the first half and a blow at the start of the second for Dundalk. Derry, 2 to the good. Game only on a minute in the second half. And both teams giving the ball away in, in the midfield but it's broken down the right hand side for Derry City and McMullen as he's done in the entire first half he's been that real bit of quality he's put a ball in and again it's, it's terrible if Will Patching has been able to take a touch on the edge of the box drift by Brownlee again who looks all at sea this evening good save initially by, by Nathan Shepard and Ben Hardy on the spot just to hammer home into an empty goal but good goal from Derry City it would appear that Derry City won't close ground on Shamrock Rovers certainly this evening as things stand and Mr Dock could change something here here's Daniel Kelly Kelly lovely shape on that towards Huben is that saved by Maher did it come back off a post well into the penalty area Durant goes on the outside of O'Reilly Durant's cross in towards Huben towards Unicoco saved by Brian Maher and Maher had the second attempt, just closed it away for a throw into the dog. Better from the Lily Whites. It's better from the Lily Whites. It's an absolutely fantastic save by Brian Maher. Durant done really well. He got to the end line this time. Dinked to the left foot to the back post. And the Dooley Coca coming in. And 
Brilliant goalkeeping by Maher. Here's Durant again. Durant's cross in. Another really good shape on that one. McElhenney once again is in the way. Up goes Mali. That's not good defending by Patrick McElhenney. Oh, wow. And Johannes Zunikoko strikes across by Hubert and away by McJanet. To talk banging on the door now. But Derry City so far have had the response with the crossbar on that occasion saved them. And all of a sudden, Derry City, they're in sixes and sevens at the, at the back. The ball's played into the box, and I think it's Uli Koku picks up the poor header from Patrick McElhaney. It's on fledgling signs of a lift in form, perhaps from a Garnagal. Ben Doherty now. Doherty with the shot, and that's not far over by Ben. And Robbie McCourt awaiting the opportunity to attack this one. Hawker lofts it into the six yard box in towards Pat Huben. Back across goal off the line. And Derry City survive again. Man of the match accolade for them. Oh, he's done really well. Anything he's been asked to do. Here's Patching. McGonagall is in the middle. Still patching, and he's gone down. That's a penalty kick, surely. And the referee says yes, Daniel Kelly with the offence. Patching goes down and he'll dust himself off and most likely take this himself, you'd imagine. Well, Patrick McElhenney is taking the responsibility, it seems, but no question about the penalty kick, John. Absolutely none. Once Patching goes inside, he's done really well. Close control. Good boy, Alfie. What Dan Kelly's doing there, I absolutely have no idea. That's, that's very disappointing. He's just barred straight in to Patching, taking the clean out of it. Patching against Shepard. He acts really white and he's made it three. It's the dog now. Derry City three. Will Patching foul for the penalty kick. He steps up. He strokes it home. And Derry City surely now, John, have their hands securely on all three points. Yeah, also, when they get to the end and it's pulled back and it's just that whip ball in. But for the most part, Derry City have dealt with, with everything thrown at them. Here's Robbie McCourt. McCourt shot saved again by Mar. Daniel Kelly looking for the run of Davies. McGonagall working all the way back there for Derry City. Two minutes of the six remaining. Here, Daniel Kelly, that's going to be a penalty kick, is it? Referee had a long, long look at it and then decided that Jamie McGonagall had fell Daniel Kelly. I think it's a little bit soft, but he, he did. He put his hands on his back and Kelly's gone down. In, the, in those occasions, when you give the referee a decision to make, and especially he when complain. he's awarded a penalty kick earlier yeah. at the other end. Damien McGrath will say that having awarded one at the other end has nothing to do with that decision, and I don't doubt that. Donegal did have his hands on the Two back. Hands, of Kelly. It's off. Kelly's felt the contact, and he, he's gone down. He's, he's, he's won the penalty. Pat Hubert with the penalty kick now for Dundalk. Salacia. Hubert against Marr. Pat Hubert, and he's sent it past Marr. And Dundalk have a goal. And just a minute of stoppage time remaining. Pat Hubert goes to retrieve the ball, but. It would be a miracle now for the talk to get back into this one. Yeah, it's a really good penalty with Pat Hoop. He, he, again, just like patching the other end, he strode up confidently, and this time he's picked the spot and he's hammered it to his right. The goalkeeper's left. Give Brian Mar no chance. He did pick the right way. He again. Well, it's Robbie Benson, rather, over there on that left-hand side. The cross in, headed away by McElhenney. Onto it is Paul Doyle. Here's Daniel Kelly. Kelly on the turn, touched over by Maher again for Derry City. He's had an outstanding game, the Derry City goalkeeper. It's a great reflex, eh? But it's one, that one is one you would expect him to make. Dan Kelly has found himself in a bit of space in the edge of the box. He's whipped one in and anywhere else on the goal, and it's, it's going to go in, but it's right down on top of the goalkeeper. Great reflex, he just, just helped it over the bar. And to a corner kick, we've had 30 minutes more than the allotted six minutes of stoppage time. Headed away by McGonagall, play continues. Robbie Benson's there, free kick for Dundalk, is it? Referee says no, he's sounded the final whistle of the game. And that confirms that Derry City keep pace with Shamrock Rovers at the top of the table.